hi guys welcome back again to my kitchen today i'm gonna make it up some uh, egg casserole yes i'm going to make you guys an egg casserole it's a good ton of load so if you don't want to see how me put all of this thing together in my kitchen my egg casserole on a command and egg up on my tail let's do this This is 100% grounded chicken, okay? So this is what I'm gonna be using. You could use any kind of meat in here. You could use sausage, grounded sausage. You could use grounded chicken, grounded pork, grounded beef, but I'm going to be using this. This is grounded chicken. This is about two pounds, right? The next thing I'm gonna show you is my bread. You're gonna need four slices of bread. Again, you could use any kind of bread you have in your kitchen. This bread that I'm using is 100% wheat bread, cinnamon raisin. The, I choose this one because it gives it a lot of flavor with the cinnamon and with the raisins. It turns it up even loud. So if you could find this in your supermarket, you could buy this. If not, just use whatever bread you have. It doesn't matter. Here I have in this plate, I have a chopped onions. I have green pepper, red pepper, and yellow pepper. Okay, so you're going to need that. I also have two cups of cheddar cheese this is a sharp cheddar cheese and i recommend that you try to get this one because this is going to give it a nice flavor and it's going to hold everything together really nicely also you're going to need one dozen eggs not 11 eggs not 10 eggs you know one dozen egg you're going to need that because remember you're making an egg casserole you're going to need garlic salt thyme if you have the, the regular thyme you use this as a dry one it's just the same I'm going to also add some crushed red pepper in there. If you have the Jamaican crushed red pepper, you use it. But for some reason, when you use the crushed, crushed red pepper, it gives it that nice little flavor. It distributes a nice flavor into the casserole. And of course, to every dish, I must have my Jamaican choice. All-purpose seasoning, it go good with any dish. So come on and let's rub this so, thing Okay, up. guys, I have my pot here on the fire and i have about an ounce of oil i don't have a lot of oil in there i don't want to put too much oil that's not what we're going for so i go ahead and put my meat in and once again this is grounded chicken and you could use just about any kind of meat that you have in your refrigerator and if you have like i said grounded sausage you could go ahead and you use that okay now we have to season up this meat so it has flavor make sure you add your onion and your sweet pepper your green pepper all kinds of pepper all colors in there you put it in and fire is on medium high i don't want it to overcook the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to add one teaspoon of crushed red pepper I'm also going to add one teaspoon of my Jamaican all-purpose seasoning. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of thyme. Also going to add one teaspoon of garlic and a pinch of salt. And I'm using the sea salt. If you have a different kind of salt, use it, but I'm using the sea salt. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook. It's going to be done within about 25 minutes. So when it's done, I'm gonna show you guys what it look like. Now I make this sit and cool before we move on to the next step. So I'll see you back in about 25 minutes. So okay guys, the meat has been cooking for a full 25 minutes and it's all done. You don't wanna cook it no longer than that. Now that gravy that's, that's on, that's gravy that's formed in the, in the meat, you wanna go ahead and throw that off. Do not make a casserole with that water from the gravy you're going to throw that off all right so i'm going to let this sit i'm going to turn the fire off and i'm going to let that sit and cool throw that water off before we go to the next step so let's move to the next step while that is cooling now guys we're going to the next step i have my zen pro 
right here with me and I'm going to use that and I'm just going to go ahead and give this a nice little mix and then guys I am using 12 eggs one dozen eggs so you go ahead and you mix this up real good until it's nice and fluffy that's when you know this is ready to, to, to make a casserole only if it's nice and fluffy okay guys so eggs are ready make sure so you mix this thing up real good at least a good 10 minutes so that right there is perfect that's exactly how I want it okay so let's put that away and move on to the next step well okay guys we're going to move on to the next step the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to get the bread and you're just going to break it up just like so in tiny little pieces make sure you break it up in tiny, not too small enough but you want to break it up in nice little bite sized pieces and again guys I'm using four slices next thing you want to do I have a cup of cheddar cheese I want to use a half here and then use a half to top it off once I get ready to put it in the oven and then I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken and then I'm just going to mix this in just like that it should look like this guys when you get to this step you want to get your baking pan and you spray it with your non-stick spray. Then you go ahead and you put your eggs in. Then you go ahead and you put your mixture in. Make sure you get everything out, don't waste nothing. Let's give it a little press down so it soak up all that egg. Now the next step is you go ahead and that half a cup of cheese you had left, you just want to go ahead and sprinkle the recipe on top. Okay, so what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop it in the oven and um, for that's going to be baked for about a good 45 minutes so when I'm done I will show you guys what it looks like and then we'll put it on a plate for you see you later so here you have it guys the casserole is finished nice and crispy just the way I want it you see let me give you a close-up on the cross you see how nice and crispy that is a nice golden brown on the top that is delicious see that guys perfect all right so what i'm going to do for you guys i'm going to even make it better i'm going to go ahead and put it on a plate and let you see what it looks like so i'll see you back so see guys when you cut into the casserole it's supposed to come out just like that you see how that look that's how it's supposed to come out and this is what your casserole looks like it's nice and flaky nice and juicy on the inside as well all right so there you have it guys i hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe leave me a message let me know what you want to see me cooking next in my kitchen all right take care and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy good 30 minutes on medium heat cover it up nice and make it simmer and when it's done simmer 
a time to eat. So say about okay, so a few minutes. minutes. This is the end of your foundation for coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.